we all know, we have four subtests for OET examination. Listening, reading, writing and speaking. And what we are supposed to do during the time of these subtests? If it is reading, we have to read the extract first, then write down the answer. If it is writing, read the case notes first, then write down the answers. If it is speaking, read the role play card, then go for the conversation. Then what about listening? When it comes to listening, they will play the audio. So we have to listen to the audio, simultaneously read the questions and options and write down the answers. All these things are doing simultaneously. So that can be a tricky one. So today I'm here with some tips so you people can score some decent scores when it comes to listening subtests, especially for part A. For part A, we'll be having two conversations. And in that particular conversation, uh, they will be mentioning about the name of the patient, their profession, their presenting medical condition, family history, past medical condition or ongoing medications. So all these things can be the possible answers for the listening. So the most important thing that you have to do during the time of listening subtest is read the questions repeatedly as much as you can when you get breaks in between. This will help you to identify the answers when you listen to the audio. So the second thing that you can do is try to assume the answer or guess the answer. For example, if they are mentioning about the medications of BP that can be Ramipril or Lisnophil, etc. Part A questions are mostly in the form of fill in the blanks. So what you can do during the time of this particular part is look for the word that is right in front of these blanks. For example, if it is in the form of an article where we are placing an article that is right in front of the noun. So the blank should be a noun. And if the article is A, then that can be a consonant noun. And if it is an and, that can be a vowel noun. So normally for part A questions, we will get enough gap in between the questions. But suppose, what if it is not happening like that? What you can do is go for short hands instead of lengthy answers, which you can develop by the end of the listening module. So what you can do is, you can develop your own shorthands in order to use for your listening module. Another important thing that I wanted to tell you to you people is, please don't lose your confidence in between the listening subtest. Even if you lose one or two questions in between, just grab your confidence and go for the next question. Along with that, minimize the spelling mistakes while you write this examination. If you are learning something new, for example a drug name or something, try to write it down and revise it before the day of your examination. So my suggestion to you people is, you can make use of these tips in your other parts of listening subtest as well. And since OET examination doesn't have any negative marks, please don't leave any question. You can fill the gap by the end of the examination through assumption or guesswork. So I hope this can be a useful video for you people. So I wish you very good luck for your examinations. Thank you. Signing off, Ishwarya from Tijas Academy. Thank you.